Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be doing a Q&A video. I asked you guys on my Instagram to ask me whatever questions you wanted and I would film this video. So I kind of compiled the ones that were asked the very most. I have over 40 questions. So I'm gonna go through these questions. I'm actually gonna try and do it more rapid fire style. I'm not gonna to spend too much time on each question because I'm gonna get through as many as I possibly can, if not all of them. So I will list all of the questions down below so you can check out what I'll be talking about and you can skip around if that's what you'd prefer. It is Saturday morning. I'm drinking out of my brand new mug. I, I actually got it from Amazon and I saw it and I felt like it's like the motto of my channel and it says hustle and heart will set you apart. So I love it and I'm excited. I'll link it down below because it's actually porcelain and I feel like it's a lot healthier than some of the metal um, tumblers that are out there. I'm a little health nut on the side, but that's besides the point. Alrighty, so the very first question is, do you play a musical instrument or do you sing? I definitely do not sing and when I was younger, I did play the piano. I really didn't enjoy it actually. I, I mean, I, I liked when I saw people play the piano, but I didn't enjoy it. And to be honest, I barely can play anything now. So it was honestly kind of a waste of time. Do my friends and family know about my YouTube channel and were you scared to tell them? Most of my friends and family do know about my channel. Not like everybody. I never really like broadcasted it to the world. I was really, really scared to tell them. Like very, very, very scared to tell them. I was just embarrassed about it. My channel is slightly focused on luxury items. A lot of my other videos are more like style and fashion, but still, it's just I don't want to come across as I'm bragging about anything and I was just scared what people would say so yes I was terrified but everyone's been super nice about it and it's actually gone really well so I should have done it sooner I kind of feel guilty in a way but the cat's out of the bag. Would I ever quit my job for YouTube? So I do work in HR. I have mentioned that in another video. I work in human resources and I don't know. I feel like my YouTube channel has gone really well, but will I ever quit? I don't know. I just really, really like job security. I'm a person that likes to plan everything out. I want to have everything completely, like my ducks in a row with everything. I don't know if I could count on YouTube for the rest of my life, you know what I mean? So um, I just really enjoy my HR job a lot. I love the people that I work with. I actually enjoy the job itself, so I don't really have plans on doing that. Do I ever feel overwhelmed or guilty about the cost of my luxury handbags? And that answer would definitely be yes, because sometimes when I think about it, I'm like, what the heck am I doing? But, but see, the thing is, I'm very, very, financially aware. Like, I do not make stupid decisions. I, I really don't. I put my family, my children's future, my retirement, like everything is in a good place. If, I, if it wasn't, I would never in a million years be buying what I buy. And honestly, if I didn't have my YouTube channel, I probably wouldn't be buying as many things as I buy either. Was I a cheerleader in high school? So as you can see, these questions are just like all over the map and that's kind of how I spread them out. These, they're just like going back and forth between a lot of things. So was I a cheerleader in high school? I was not a cheerleader. I was on the dance team. And what was it like for you in high school? So I think I had a good high school life. I wouldn't say I was super popular. I felt like I didn't have a click though. Like I felt like I was kind of just friends with everybody and I just kind of like hopped around and was just friendly to everybody. And yeah, I had like one really, really good friend in high school. Her name was Tracy. And then I went to college and honestly, I feel like college was the very most fun for me. I just met my best friend, Abby, and then I met my husband. I just loved, loved, loved college. Do you want any more children and do I want to try for a girl? So this question was the one that was asked like crazy. Um, do I want any more children? The answer is no. I am so happy with my two boys. I do not need a girl. If I would have had a girl, that would have been fine. Um, but I actually quite enjoy being the only girl in the household. So yeah, we're totally happy with the two boys. I feel like our life is very balanced and I'm happy. Did you find out the sexes of your children or was it a surprise? And for both of our children, we did find out the gender. It was purely for planning purposes. I know it would have been like a really cool surprise if I would have like, you know, kept it a surprise, but we just didn't. Where do I wear all of my clothes and bags since I am a mom? So that's a good question. Um, a lot of my clothes I obviously wear to work because I work full time in an office. And then as far as the bags, I actually never wear the bags to work, but I um, I wear everything on the weekends. I really do try to rotate all my bags. We go places all the time on the weekends. We're not people that just sit at home. So I am constantly wearing my bags on the weekends and my husband actually just takes a backpack with the kids stuff. We don't even need that many kid things anymore. So it's he doesn't even have to do that all the time. I'm just past the stage of needing all of the mommy things. So I can now just pretty much wear whatever bag I want. What does my husband think? 
think of my YouTube channel. He freaking loves my YouTube channel. It gets, it's so sweet. He's so incredibly supportive. He loves it. He's always asking me about it. He's always trying to help. He's always, in, you know, inquiring, giving me ideas about things. So to be honest, I am like just really, really lucky in that area. He is so encouraging about it. And I just, I don't know. I, it's actually quite nice that he is so happy for me when it comes to this whole YouTube thing. What's the carrot on my engagement ring? And does the carrot size matter? That's a very interesting question. Um, my carrot ring size is actually a little bit over one carat. Does size matter when it comes to that? I mean, come on, it doesn't really matter, but you do wear this ring for the rest of your life potentially. So I do kind of think it's important to really like your engagement ring. Josh and I actually did kind of like pick out the engagement ring of like the style that I wanted and when I saw this, like for the first time, I was, I just loved it. I think the actual carrot size is maybe like 1.2 or something like that. I've thought about maybe upgrading in the future. I don't really know if that's something I would do or I wouldn't do. I don't, I don't really know. Have I ever taken any online classes to be a successful YouTuber? So this was an interesting question because I've never taken any online classes, but I really do pay attention to the world of YouTube, like behind the scenes. I actually, before I started my channel, I listened to Beauty and the Vlog podcast. So if you guys are out there and want to start a channel, I highly recommend that podcast. You can learn so much. And I listened to that for months and months and months, and I really gained a lot of knowledge about analytics, um, the algorithm, just like good things to do for your channel and with your channel. And I feel like that's definitely contributed to my success. And that person actually did interview me two different times because I have had a decent amount of growth and I kind of shared some secrets and like what I do and what I don't do. So again, if, if if you want to start a channel, I love doing YouTube, but I, I would definitely recommend that podcast if you want to learn a little bit more. Has the quick YouTube growth ever been overwhelming? Not really. I feel like it's just been really fun. And just the fact that I have continually grown and maybe I'll stop growing or maybe I'll go backwards. I have no idea. Um, but it's just been really fun. And I feel like it's been at a good pace. And honestly, it just gives me a lot of motivation to keep moving forward. And I just have so many ideas and so many things that I want to do. So I don't know. It just gives me excitement. It's not really an overwhelming feeling. If I only had to keep one handbag and one SLG, what would they be? That is an easy question. I would definitely keep my Chanel jumbo handbag. That was my holy grail bag and I love it. It's just, it's just so nice. And then my SLG would definitely be my six ring key holder. That thing is amazing. I've said it time and time again. I love that thing. If you guys want to buy a good SLG and get a lot of use out of something, buy the Louis Vuitton six ring key holder. What are my pet peeves? That's like really hard. I feel like I get along really well with almost everybody. Um, I know I have them. This is super weird, but I have a pet peeve of I can't stand it when someone drops a water bottle, like, like this water bottle. This thing, when it gets empty, it easily falls over. I don't know what it is, but when this falls over and falls on the floor, it just gets under my skin. Weird answer, but hey, it's true. How do I keep my skin looking flawless? Okay. I don't keep my skin flawless. My skin is so bad, like so freaking bad. These lights over here, they make my skin look flawless. So that is what I do. I just put lights in front of my face and I'm magically flawless. But in real life, skin is terrible. It's always been terrible. It probably always will be terrible. Um, it's, it's just the way it is. What is my workout routine? I do not have a workout routine. With everything going on in my life, I just don't have time to exercise. It's terrible. I do not recommend that. You should definitely be getting your heart rate up and exercising. But I just, uh, it's just one thing that kind of like gets away from me. And I feel like I am kind of naturally thin, I guess. I get that from my dad's side of the family. So that's nice, but it's, it's not healthy. So I don't recommend. So that kind of leads into the next question. How do I balance everything in my life? So that would be my YouTube channel, my full-time job. I have two kids. I'm married and taking care of myself, like my hair, my appearance, etc. And I would just say that I just don't get that much sleep. And again, that's not that healthy at all. In fact, I just, again, don't recommend that. I get probably five to six hours of sleep a night. So I refuse to let my YouTube channel 
um, control my life as far as like taking time away from my kids. So what I do is I wake up really early in the morning or I film after they go to bed at night. So today is like an odd situation. It's Saturday morning. The kids are actually outside helping Josh with something outside. So I thought it was a perfect time to film. Um, but usually I'm up at like five or 6 a.m. on Saturday and Sunday filming or I do it after they go to bed and I edit after they go to bed. So it's again, it's just late nights and early mornings for me to handle this. And then I get a lot of help from my husband obviously. And then my mom, she watches the kids while I'm at work. Work, and when she's at my house, sometimes she'll like tidy up a little bit and that's obviously a really, really big help there just as well. But I would just say it takes kind of like a team and we all just work really well together. And I definitely don't tell my mom she needs to do anything at my house, by the way. I, people are probably gonna comment that I'm like putting my mom to work and I definitely do not do that. It's just, she's my mom. I'm sure you guys, if you guys have a mom out there, they just always wanna like help you and like, just like I always wanna help my kids. It's, it's kind of just a thing. If I could change one thing about myself, what would it be? And that would probably be just confidence. I feel like even with my channel in the last year or two, I have like grown immensely when it comes to confidence, but it's still an area that I want to work on. And I think just with time, I'll, I'll get better, but that has been always an area that I've struggled. Would I ever buy a Birkin? And I used to always say, heck, no, I would never buy a Birkin that is ridiculous. And honestly, I feel like, I don't know, I think it can be like a decent investment. So, I mean, I don't know if I really will. I would tell you between a Birkin and a Kelly, I probably would go for the Birkin just because I feel like it's a tad more classic and my Fendi Peekaboo reminds me so much of a Kelly. So I would go for the Birkin. What foods do you typically eat since you've cut out sugar? So I have cut out sugar for about almost six years now, which is crazy. So I definitely still eat sugar. Like I still eat fruits. I still eat things with sugar in them. I've just completely cut out things like desserts or cakes or pies or cookies or anything with processed like bad sugar. Um, so basically I eat a lot of eggs. I eat a lot of like sweet potato. I'll eat Ezekiel bread, fruits, vegetables. I'll eat quinoa, some rice. I do eat meat. So I'll eat chicken, fish, beef. Um, I do keep the meat portions pretty low, but I still do eat it. I'm not a vegetarian, although I probably could be because meat really isn't my favorite. That's kind of the gist of it. Do I have any siblings and are any family members into luxury handbags? So I do have one stepbrother and actually his wife is is really into luxury handbags as well. So she lives kind of far away. So unfortunately we can't kind of like, you know, be together in our interests. And I actually kept the channel from her for the longest time again, because I was purely embarrassed by it. But I kind of regret that because she would have been like the only person that, you know, really understood me. So I kind of feel bad about that. But, but yeah, other than that, other than, other than her, there's literally nobody that's interested in handbags. And I'm sure they all think I'm really, really weird, but what can you do? <laughs> what do you think of Dolce & Gabbana? So that is a fashion house. And honestly, I've, I, I've never really been like a huge fan. I'm not saying it's terrible. I I just see it on QVC all the time. And again, not that that is bad. I just kind of associate it with an older generation. Again, that's not bad. I don't know. I'm sure their quality is really, really good. I have heard the quality is really good. So let me know, let me know what you guys think. If you love it, just comment down below. I want to hear what you guys think too. What are your other interests or hobbies? I honestly feel like that was what I was kind of missing in my life. I really never had a hobby. Like so many people are interested in things and have this side hustle or a side hobby. And I just never did. So now that I have you, YouTube thing. It's like I finally have something. So other than that though, I would say my hobby is traveling and it's, oh, that just makes my heart happy. I love traveling. And now the boys, now that they're getting a little bit older, I'll be able to travel more. And that really, really just gets me excited. So going along with that, what is your favorite vacation spot? So I definitely would say I like warm weather. So maybe I'll go with like the Caribbean or, you know, anywhere that has a beach will make me happy. But I think the best vacation I've ever had was actually to London. London stole my heart. I want to go back to London so bad. If you live over there, then I am just so jealous of you. Just, I love it. I love, love, love London. How long does it take to prep, edit, and post a video? So I would say um, it takes the whole process, I would say for an entire video from start to finish would, I would say maybe like eight hours. It takes like two hours to film a video just because of like setting everything up, doing my makeup, 
actually filming the video, putting everything away, and then editing can take maybe like four to five hours. Sometimes it's really short. Other times it takes way longer than that. Um, I have to do a thumbnail picture. I, I spend a lot of time on my thumbnail pictures and then actually posting the video probably takes an hour because I have the whole description box that I have to do. So the whole thing does take a long time, but like I said, I just work on it in chunks whenever the boys are sleeping or when I have like a free hour here or there or whatever. What are your favorite TV shows? I don't really have that much TV that I watch just because my life is so busy, but I did get sucked into The Affair, which is a show on Showtime. Oh my gosh, I got like really sucked into that and season four starts in like three weeks. My all-time favorite TV show is Full House, which that takes me back to my childhood years. I also am a huge Big Brother fan. Every summer, I just love watching Big Brother. I'm like a huge fanatic. I also really like Game of Thrones, so I'm just like all over the map. I love TV, so it's kind of unfortunate that I don't get to watch it that much. And I also really love reality TV, like anything on Bravo, really like. Would you share some younger photos of Shay? So I will go ahead and try to find some young photos of me. I'll try to find some maybe when I was in high school, maybe some when I was in college or maybe even like my lower 20s. I definitely went way heavy with my eyeliner. I mean, everybody, when you look back at the pictures, you always critique what you look like and your hairstyle and your makeup and everything. So I think a lot of my life I was very blonde. Um, I just kind of jump around when it comes to my hair color. What is your heritage? So I am 25% Polish and 25% Sicilian and then the rest of me is a total mix of like everything. My grandfather on my dad's side came directly from Poland and then my grandmother on my dad's side came directly from Sicily. What comes first, makeup or fashion? So this is an interesting question. I would say what I need the very most in my life would be makeup. I never leave the house without makeup but what really is my passion would be fashion. I love clothes. I love shoes. I love handbags. I love accessories. I just love that whole world. And that's really what gets my heart beating. But what I really need day to day for sure is makeup. Do I have any hidden talents? Not really. The only thing I could think of for this question is I can juggle. And I taught myself how to juggle when I was in like 10th grade because I wanted to impress a guy. I taught myself with three apples. And um, other than that though, I have like no talents. I feel like really lame, but I couldn't think of anything. Maybe I'll juggle for you real quick. I think I've done it in one other video, um, but here you go. So I'm gonna juggle my beauty blender, this bronzer and a pencil sharpener. <laughs> this is gonna, this is super like uneven. It's not even probably gonna work. There we go. What was my wedding like? So my wedding was, I would say very classic. I wasn't one of those girls that spent hours and hours and hours, like my whole life planning out my wedding and what I wanted it to look like. I really just wanted to get married. Like that was my goal. So I did get married at a castle, which sounds very fairy tale like It was a really pretty castle. It was actually a restaurant, and then the upstairs was a full-blown um, you know, space where people had parties and proms and weddings. They just took care of everything for us, so that is why we ended up booking that venue. How long have I been married? I have been married for over nine years. So this next wedding anniversary, which will be in April of 2019, that will be 10 years married. People thought we were getting married too young and I still disagree. What is my dream collaboration? Um, I would say my dream collaboration would be like directly working with a brand like Express or Nordstrom, like on an actual like real campaign, something like that, like directly involving clothes or shoes or something like that. I mean, that would, I'm sure that'll never happen. I'm just saying that would be my dream collaboration. A lot of people on YouTube collaborate with makeup brands. Um, I would go more on the clothes side. What does it mean to partner with a brand? So I only ever partner with a brand if I absolutely love it. I get so many many emails every single day asking me to collaborate with them, partner with them, whatever. I turn down literally probably like 98 to 99% of everything. So if you do see me partnering with somebody, it's because I genuinely love it. But basically what that means is they will pay me for the video. Usually anything that you're seeing, I, I do in fact pay with my own money, but then after the video is posted, I will get compensated a specific set amount. Again, I don't wanna do it too much, but at the same time, there's nothing wrong with promoting something that you genuinely love. Do I watch any YouTube
YouTubers who don't do beauty, fashion, or luxury. And yes, I actually watch a lot of YouTubers that are involved in making YouTube videos. Like I said, this is it's kind of, this whole thing is like a passion of mine. I really like to keep on top of everything, you know, how YouTube is changing, what changes I should be making. So on the side, when I'm not watching my favorite YouTubers, I do try to keep up with just learning more about YouTube itself, which sounds super weird, but hey, you gotta stay on top of your craft if that makes sense. Would I ever do a meetup? Yes, I just don't know how to do a meetup, but I definitely want to. I was thinking about doing one, you know, in New York City because I'm going in August. I thought that would be really, really fun. Let me know if you think I should. Where do I do it? I don't know. I don't know how to set all of that up, but I think that would be super, super fun. Okay, so I actually got through those questions fairly fairly fast. I think this video will be a little bit longer than my normal video, but I did get over 40 questions answered. There were many, many more questions on there. I'm sorry if I didn't answer your question, but I just kind of compiled the ones that were asked the very most, and I didn't want this video to be an hour long, so those are the ones that I went with. If I get a really good response back from this video, then maybe I'll start doing this a little bit more often. So if you enjoyed this, please give it a thumbs up. It'll really kind of tell me whether or not this was enjoyable or if it was was kind of just a waste of time. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you made it to the end, then I applaud you. You guys are the best. Thanks again, and I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye. I've been loving everything you